Hello everyone, welcome to Guramat's Tips and Tricks. I'm going to give a bit of a rundown on the different weapons I like to use and uh, what the different stats mean. So one of the first important things when it comes to fighting is your strength. This determines on how hard you hit as well as how well you can take damage. You get the higher strength, the more damage you do and the more damage you can take. Fitness actually determines on how fast you swing. This means that weapons with a medium swing, if you have like a 30 fitness, what you start with, it takes two seconds between attacks. But if you get this all the way up to 100, it only takes one second. Um, we'll show this for an example for the Bleach 1-1000. Bam. And then, of course, uh, weapons with a long uh, or a low speed uh, take a lot longer between attacks as well. So, what's the difference between, like, why do we need to care about the difference between attacking and when, with the speeds? Well, uh, when you're attacking someone, you're going to need to make sure that uh, you pay attention to that, because if you're not attacking, you need to be running away or blocking. Uh, making sure that you're not taking a hit is very important. you got to keep your hit points up, especially if you're going in it for the long haul. Uh, I really like these two items for because uh, they're not contraband. They uh, allow you to go into fights, and if you fail and you mess up, well, it doesn't matter. You can still go back into another fight with them. Um, they're really good. Uh, I prefer the Bleach the most because it also d doubles as making uh, make yourself a little infirmary outfit uh, whenever you need it. So I like to keep it on hand. But what kind of weapons would you need if you construct if you like wanted a you know a contraband weapon? We have a couple options. Um, if you like the long range weapons, uh, whip might serve you well. Um, and you can even make this into a super whip. Uh, so the whip actually is a, a 60 intellect and you need a timber, wire, and duct tape. And a super whip, you just need a razor and duct tape and a whip. Um, unfortunately, razors are pretty rare on most maps. I generally don't go for a super whip because of that reason. Um, so that's why I actually prefer if I'm going to be making a really strong weapon. Um, I go for a, base, a baseball bat. Uh, we just need two timber, duct tape, and uh, you get one of those. And then you get, you, of course, you take the baseball bat and you give it uh, some nails and some duct tape and you can graft a super baseball bat. Uh, the super baseball bat has very high damage. It has low speed but very high range. This allows you to really range out opponents, especially if you're, uh, do, if you're attacking and you are running and gunning, as I like to say. Uh, it allows you to get in your hits and then uh, keep keep at range. It keeps you safe. Uh, but my, for my personal favorite weapon out of all the weapons that you can get in this game is uh, actually the nunchucks. Um, I'm really f a huge fan of them. They have a uh, high damage, a medium speed, which I really like. I really like being able to attack more often, and a decent range at medium. And this allows you to uh, range out your opponents, hit them pretty quickly, and down them very fast. Um, but I, I hear you ask, well, uh, what other options do I have? Maybe I want to knock out a guard in one hit and I don't really want to fight? Well, then a cup of molten chocolate is your best bet. You need a lighter, a bar of chocolate, and a cup. This can be just this or a teacup. Combine them all together. Get yourself a cup of molten chocolate. This is a one-hit KO, guaranteed. You knock out a guard and uh, you don't have to worry about them. Uh, this is really useful if you know where your uh, key is and you want to get a a cer certain item off of them. Um, and then of course I actually appreciate the uh, sock. It's a, it's a really great thing to have if you uh, know that you're gonna maybe you don't know when you're gonna fight but you want to be able to have a weapon that you construct on hand. Um, you know most people know that you can create a uh, sock mace with a sock and soap but what they don't know is you can actually create a super sock mace with a battery and a sock. This is actually a pretty decent weapon it has a medium damage but a high speed even if the range is low allowing you to you know quickly attack this is good for in quarters combat when you know you can't like have a lot of room to run and it's just a decent weapon all around and then uh, if you're like really desperate for space and you really want to save on uh, space and you don't want to worry about it what you can do is you can just carry around a comb and anytime you need it to be a weapon you run into the wall and you just attack it with space or whatever uh, the key is on your uh, home console and then you actually have a comb ship and this is actually a pretty decent weapon even though the damage is low it allows you to still attack very quickly and usually down a guard in like three hits so it's, it's pretty good so I'm going to be demonstrating some of the techniques that I like to use whenever I'm fighting 
and uh, typically I prefer a run and gun approach whenever I can but this you really do require having a large area to run around in um, you can't really do this outside of course anytime you fight outside and there's snipers you just instantly get gunned down so and I recognize in a lot of maps there isn't this long corridor inside that you can deal with and uh, you typically have to worry about other people coming around generally when you fight you want to try and get someone isolated um, it's actually pretty good if you know the officer you need to down is uh, following you you can actually lead them to a spot of your choosing so we're gonna go ahead and lure this officer upstairs and take care of him so one of the things I need to mention again is whenever you're not attacking and you can't run around a lot block uh, every time that you take a hit, though, it does take 10% of your st or 10 stamina, so you got to be wary about losing all your energy before uh, a, a long fight. And a lot of times, guards will have adrenaline shots, so I typically will grab the adrenaline shot if I know I'm going to be fighting a lot, just so that I can replenish my uh, my stamina on the go. Now we're going to see if we can't lure anyone else over to here. Uh, I have a lot of heat, and so typically I do like to let my heat die down between fights. Uh, because if you go outside, you get sniped. But, uh, one of the techniques I also want to show is the running gun. Which, see, I'm running away. It's, it doesn't allow him to set up and try and charge at me. And then I just turn around and hit him. This allows me to uh, dictate the terms of the fight. Uh, it generally means that they don't get a hit off me. But even if they do attack me and I, s and I have to trade blows, I try to like attack right after they do. And it usually is a pretty good option. It allows you to get in the hit. Well, hopefully these tips have helped you, and uh, I wish you all the best in all your endeavors and getting a, downing any guards or any prisoners that you may need to fight. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and good luck escaping. Yeah, I did deserve it.